Quietude in the building! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jesus, Mark, Fellas, right. what is up? How we doing? Appreciate you guys stopping by. Uh, if you could, please properly introduce yourself. Let us know whereabouts in the world uh, you're located currently and plug or promote anything you'd like. My co-host is currently on a quick pee break. We're, we're going into almost hour two right now, so he'll be right back in just a second. But plug or promote anything you'd like and uh, introduce yourself properly, please. Um, my name's Sid. I, uh, I sing and I play guitar and compose for uh, Quietude. Um, you know, we're all from LA, I think, right? We're from, we're from LA. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. This is Trent. Yep. My name's Trent. I play drums for Quietude. We're a metalcore band from Los Angeles. Uh, we just put out an EP called Suffering the Human Condition uh, this past October. Uh, you can find that anywhere uh, music is streamed or sold. Yes, indeed. We have a, a new single coming pretty soon here. We do. We don't have that many TCLs on that yet, but uh, it is coming. It's Hell coming. yeah. It's coming very I had actually <laughs> never never heard of you guys before until I, when I went to the Asylum show. And I don't want to say it, but you might have stole the show. But I thought you guys were fantastic, man. Um, I was, I'm excited <laughs> to have you on the show. I, I want to play Death Wish, but... I do want to ask a couple questions before we do. I know tax a little under the weather, but what could we expect of 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 you guys for the rest of 2022? For the rest of the what? The rest of 2022. Uh, 2022. You said you have a new single coming. Is there a tentative like release date for that? I know the EP is like fairly new. Maybe some some more shows in the area. Like, what can we expect from uh, Quietude the rest of the year? Yeah. So we uh, we just got basically like final mixes and masters back for a single um that we're gonna be putting out um that likely is um you know gonna have some sort of content um produced around that uh whether it's a playthrough or a music video or you know something of that such um we just dropped a uh, a playthrough video for the closing track um of our ep called touch of the baphomet and um that just dropped on uh, on youtube last friday is it um, but you know, our plan right now, um, is just to really kind of try to ramp our engagement and, and try to put on multiple singles, potentially, you know, a group of songs or, or group them after we release them. Um, and, uh, you know, just heavily market them, try to get on some big shows, um, and do that type of thing, but just releasing, you know, small pieces of music. Yeah. Expect a bunch know. more singles. Yeah, how, did, how did you guys meet Tack and and or and did he or did he put the band together or how did, how was Quietude constructed in the beginning? Uh, Sid met him on uh, Grinder. That's how I met BG, man. <laughs> oh man, solid. Um, I uh, so I I used to be in a. And basically, this band's been around since like 2013, off and on, with like different members and different um, styles of music, all all relatively around like progressive metal and stuff like that. Um, but uh, at the time, we were an instrumental band, um, and we were looking for you know a vocalist or a frontman. Um, and I think we uh, we posted about it on like Band Mix or something like that, some some sort of music social social media website that uh, isn't used as much anymore but um you know he he responded to the ad he came out he auditioned and you know we were we were super blown away um so he he joined the band in 2014 um and we kind of started transitioning our style and more more solidifying it into more of like a progressive metalcore type thing rather than um you know we initially started with like longer songs and stuff like that and we just kind of wanted to refocus on like you know, three or four minute bangers and, you know, just really kind of focus the sound. But yeah, we, we met talk, um, basically just through the internet and, uh, cool. Hit it off from there. This is quietude with death wish. The quality of the playthrough is like really professionally done as far as like the angles and the auto focusing and stuff. Uh, if fellas, if you were, if you were ever to consider a feature for a quietude song, what vocalist and or 
any member of a band, maybe you just want a guitar, a, a, a crazy solo from a guitarist. Like, who would you want as a feature on a song? Um, I, I have. I'm a huge fan of a lot of a lot of musicians um, that are in our scene. Um, you know, I I personally, yeah, it's kind of tough. I mean, I, I definitely would 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 love to have a feature from. Probably, I guess, one of the guys from like Volumes or something like that. Would be yeah, sick. we're just kind of tossing around maybe like Michael Barr one day. You know, yeah, or Mike Terry. Um, Courtney uh, will play from Spirit Box. Yeah, that'd be, be cool. Really cool. Um, do you, do you uh, see that maybe, ever like being a possibility? Like maybe maybe going that route, like getting like a, a higher up feature just for like a specific like lead single or something? Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely something we're interested in. It's, it's just a matter of. of um, you know, putting something together and and you know trying to try to focus you know yeah. on getting that done for find sure the, find the right song where we're like this needs a little extra little extra punch you know? for sure for sure but Boy. definitely definitely down what's been your favorite so far my favorite song yeah that you guys have done um my favorite song personally um just from uh i guess my personal liking um we're talking about off of the uh, off of the most recent record. I think uh, either Death Wish or or uh, Touch of the Baphomet are probably my favorite. Um, what is a Baphomet? I like that name. I was about to ask that. Damn it! Uh, it's 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 basically like from what at least from what what I know. I mean, I should probably know more detail. You wrote it out. Yeah, uh, more detailed. Uh, <laughs> but it's basically you know a, um, a like I guess a physical or a mythological. Um, embodiment of of the devil, so like the goat, you know the girl on the pentagram, like that's uh, that's what that is. Um, so like so like the devil saying. like touched you, touch of the bathroom. It means like the devil touched you on your shoulder or something. Well, it's it's basically just like influence, I guess. You know what I mean? It's uh, it's you know being being influenced by by the, the negative one. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> Quietude, touch the Baphomet. Please, guys, go hit that follow button for Quietude, just like I have as well. And uh, we're going to play this song right here, Touch of the Baphomet. Who does your guys' uh, audio production? Who do you go to for all your recordings and stuff? Um, so our, we worked with like the same uh, producer. He's a really good friend of ours. Uh, his name's Dane Markinson. Um, he's played in a few bands. He, he was... Um, he was in Glass Cloud for a while. He's the current touring guitarist for Volumes. Oh, nice. Um, and uh, he's just been a really good friend for, you know, oh, so 10 this, years of mine. I see, I see what's going on here. So this Volumes feature is actually very, very possible to pull off. I see what's going on here. Actually, we'll, we'll see. You know? Just a couple, a couple doors away. Yeah, a couple we're doors. Good, yeah, we're good to call in some favors. We're gonna, we're gonna try to yeah, manifest yeah. it and send some good energy your way to make that happen. That'd be awesome. Yeah. Um, Fellas, are you down to review a couple bands with us as well as uh, do a little trivia? Of course. Absolutely. Of course. Hell yeah. Cool. We don't know what genre some of these are. They could be country, rap, metal. We, we don't know. Anywhere around the world, any genre. Huge fans of all kinds of music. We did play We're that one. Here. Before we play this, what's what's something that, that you guys jam in your personal time that we just would not expect that's complete opposite of what you play uh music wise Ooh. You want to, you can go yeah i mean i'm very into hip-hop uh, i've been listening to a lot of young Dolph lately rest in peace um he is R.I.P. one of my favorite artists uh, i'm wearing a three six mafia shirt right now huge fan of their early stuff um so i would say maybe those although those are kind of like i got a juicy j story for you after this i got a juicy j story for you do you i'd love to hear it hell yeah (laughs) he's always such an interesting guy yeah (laughs) um i i personally one of my favorite artists is dallas green i listen to a lot of city wow Um, good call huge huge fan of that um also love hip-hop um Try to think of like not less aggressive hip hop, but um, you know, <laughs> Suicide Boys, Drake, whatever. Like I love, I love, I love, I love Drake. Yeah, Drake, Drake is, is fire. <laughs> it's not, it's not necessarily my favorite, but it's, it's very not my basic. favorite. There's a lot of Drake songs. Yeah, Drake's yeah. Drake's got a lot of bangers. We can't even lie. He's got a lot of bangers. I also listen to like a lot of gospel music too. I cool. Like gospel. Cool. 
Nothing wrong with a little gospel. So my Juicy J story is um, my old band recorded in, in Cleveland, Ohio at the studio called like the Agora Theater. And there's like a studio inside of it. And uh, we, we had to do like a whole album on our second time there. We didn't finish it the first time. So our second visit there, we were like finishing our album. And it was like two in the morning. And I was like, I'm just going to walk around the studio and see like what's going on there's so there's like four or five different like big ass rooms and i mean some like two or three rooms have like ssl 4000s like 500 grand style mixers and stuff like that and um i i see one of the producers that we would become friends with like earlier in the week and he's like come here come here come here it's like two in the morning so i i poke my head in juicy j is recording uh Damn. dark horse with with Katie by Katy Perry, he's recording his verse for that song. I was in the studio for like 15 seconds, and they were like, "You got to get out." Blah blah blah. After I was able to poke my head in, but I was like, "So cool, so cool." Anyway, that's my whole Juicy J story. That's all I got. That's all I got. <laughs> that's fucking sick. <laughs> that's sick. One thing I love Juicy J is that like I was listening to his old stuff from when he was like 16 years old, 17 years old. He's rapping about the same thing every single time. He's rapping about strippers. You know, it does not change. He stayed true to himself. I love that. <laughs> He's a real <laughs> one. He keeps it real. Hell yeah. <laughs> he knows it's true. He lived it. He, yeah. yeah. Uh, did you see the verses with uh, 3 6? I heard about it. Uh, I did not see it, but it, it looked like it was pretty lit. It was pretty tight. There's a little bit, little bit of drama, but it was cool. Across the Whitewater Tower is next. It's called anxiety. Yo, it's crazy. Really quick. Uh, that same week, by the way, Lil Wayne and Drake were also at the same studio, but they had people outside the door, so we couldn't even poke our heads in. Like we found out, like oh, yeah. a, we found out, like later the next morning that they were in there. And damn it, this, this song is like just not at all what I expected. Like when it starts and then it goes into like a darker like kind of like hip-hop section and then it's, it hits me with the really really high tones on the cleans not what i expected but i liked it i'm gonna say yay on that one you guys are in the right direction or that one is solid mm-hmm. really like the cover art it's pretty yeah. awesome that is like the right way to go it, it is kind of cool cover art you're right uh fellas what's what's another song that you would prefer that we play your call any, any jam what do you think of Bad Binge? I think a Bad Binge would be a great way to go here. Bad Binge. Why this one? Is this is this one that's more fun in general to to play or? We've all had them. Bad binges. It's just a it's a it's a it's a it's an, it's an angry uh, angry short song. Mm-hmm. I love it. Yeah, it's totally fun to play. Very it's, fun. It's just real bouncy. It's just it's very really bouncy. Yeah. Yo, it is definitely angry, but I love it. Uh, give me <laughs> this, this, this next question applies to any project you've ever been involved in. Doesn't necessarily have to be about quietude, but give me your worst gig story ever. Everything went wrong at this particular show. Hmm. I have a pretty good one with my old band. Go ahead. Yeah. yeah. Start. Um, I used to play in a band, uh, in Sacramento called anxious arms and we were playing a show in Redding, California. Um, just a random little like boutique art place. So it's kind of not really a venue. So we walk in a few hours early, uh, and the guy who runs it is like, "Oh, do you want to see the BDSM the BDSM dungeon downstairs?" And we're like, "Oh, what? It's yeah." So uh, we just went out. There's a full on full on thing going on down there. We're like, "Great, great start." Um, we like they served us uh, dinner before the show started, which was That's super nice of them. weird. It was very weird. We were like, okay, great. Uh, thanks for the spaghetti. Uh, this is the spaghetti. Uh, they had never like had a band before, so they yeah. just didn't know how to act. You were the, you were the uh, first band they'd spaghetti? ever had? Pretty much. Okay. Yeah, I mean, this guy had no idea what was happening. Interesting. Um, so, you know, we were, eating, we were eating a dinner, and then outside, uh, we hear this girl go up to one of like the other promoters, and she's like, daddy, daddy. And, and it's like a 19, 20 year old girl. And he's like, I told you guys to call me that here. And, then <laughs> like, and we're like, oh, okay, this is going to be interesting. What? <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, so we start playing. Um, it's, you know, it's in Reading. The crowd is a little, people seem like, you know, you don't want to suspect, people seem like they might be on, you know, some methamphetamines kind of thing. <laughs> and now the crowd's getting a little weird. They're a little antsy. Uh, we, 
the, the, the one band uh, quits. Uh, there's three bands in the bill. Uh, the first band is a girl uh, with an acoustic guitar who plays for like five minutes. Um, the second band drops off the bill and the promoter comes up and says, yeah, you know, we wanted to keep them. The guy said, I can't make it up. And I was like, I had, I had his pills for him. I had his pills for him to come up here, but he couldn't make it. He couldn't make it up. So the second band quits. Um, oh, and so it's just us for the whole rest of the bill. We have a 20 minute set and, you know, like we had only been a band for like a year at that point. So, uh, we don't have that much material. So we're like, all right, well, that's it. And then the guy runs on, uh, the promoter runs on and says, you know, it's intermission and it turns to us and is like, look, we need you guys to do your set again. Uh, oh <laughs> play it back God. to front. Damn. So, so you played did, it twice? Uh, we played it twice. Everybody in the crowd, I mean, those people were zoned out. They didn't care. Uh, but at one point, at one point, a guy got up and started doing, like hardcore dancing and started throwing, you know, elbows and stuff. And the uh, one of the promoter came up and was like, "Hey, you can't do that here." So that guy punched the promoter in the face, <laughs> knocked him out. The cops were called uh, because somebody got, you know, oh my goodness. Out. And wow. then the guy on the show ran over and was like, he was like, he was so excited because he put on his first punch. And he's like, "The cops are here," you know. Wow. And he, was, <laughs> he was so stoked. Um, so. <laughs> All that happened. What else happened? Um, and uh, when we were packing up on the way out, uh, an old lady flashed me in the parking lot. Nice. That part wasn't as bad. Oh, that's um, excellent. That's <laughs> excellent. <laughs> Everything else was super sketch, super weird. Uh, that is unforgettable. I'm sure there's other stuff that happened that I've forgotten over the years. But that was my story is nowhere near weird, as good as that. Weird. That was a good one. That was a really good one. No, nowhere near as good as that. Uh, I'll keep it brief, but <laughs> it was one of our first shows uh, with a new lineup. They booked us with um, basically like a whole bill of bands that were in every entirely different genre uh, impossible. There wasn't even like a rock band on. It was it was all really really soft music, um, and we were in like the we were like in, in like an alley, like a random ass alley in Hollywood, and we couldn't even find the front. The front of the venue didn't even have any like any discernible sign of whatever it was was, and then it like went down into the parking lot, and then when you were there, there was like a bunch of like can't be this loud can't be this you know and we would we turned our amps like all the way down and just tried to be like as quiet as possible uh no, quiet no, yeah no quiet too. no pun intended um so you guys yeah, you guys are playing, you guys are all like playing death wish like, you're playing death Wish. you're like you know, probably, get the, probably like two minutes the, before like we went get, on get maybe the, even less the, than that like the promoter's like oh so i heard you guys are like a metal band i see like the the uh the symbols if you could just like not hit your symbols um <laughs> and uh just be just be as quiet as possible and as soon as like my drummer at the time hit um hit the cymbals you know it was all she wrote we played probably two songs got our, our set cut and uh crowd really liked us but it was it was a very damn interesting son crowd. dang it was, it was very two weird. two really Fun. juicy rough ones man those are some rough i love hearing a good bad gig story just because people like man the the art one though with the dude getting punched in the face and the cops coming like, wow like, oh, insane <laughs> holy shit so bro so much to experience that's insane, insane. <laughs> let's throw in uh let's throw on death perception there's slightly somewhat up your guys's alley as far as uh intensity and and metal style this uh, this one's called ashes to mourn they can be found at, at 333dp and they make some really cool hot sauce Check it nice. out. Oh. I'm a big hot sauce fan. This is Death Very Perception. Cool. Death Perception Ashes to Mourn. What would you guys say? Would you would you say would you say a yay? It's cool, or would you say a nay on Pretty that? Mm. Yeah, we'll give it a we'll give it a yay. We'll give it a yay. I liked it. Um that's some nice drums. Which one of those guys makes the hot sauce? Which one uh I think just the whole band. I'm not I'm not sure exactly, but you can go uh Message them at 333 DP. They sent me, I got two hot sauces from them. One of them is a ghost chili and ghost pepper hot sauce, which I have today. It's not the spiciest oh, wow. in the world, but the Scotch bonnet hot sauce that they have is pretty <laughs> spicy, I must say. Um, fellas, let's do a little trivia. Let's do a little trivia. If you get the question right before chat and or Lloyd, you get a wheel spin of which you could win prizes, but more than likely you're going to punish me. Let's see what happens. <laughs> who? Who is the godmother of Kurt Cobain and Courtney Love's child 
Francis Bean. Who? Specifically, it's a celebrity. I'll let you know a hint. It's a celebrity. Who is the godmother of Kurt Cobain and Courtney Love's kid, Francis Bean? Uh, we get it wrong. Any hints? I can't think of it. I literally watched the documentary. Watched the documentary. Chat, chat has beat you to it. Unfortunately, we're gonna call that one a. The answer was Drew Barrymore. Believe it or not, Drew Barrymore is the godmother of Kurt Cobain's daughter. Swing away! I think that's some horse. So we're gonna give you another spin automatically just because. Unbelievable. Well, you just got two more weight skips. I I tried to give you a, an extra one, but you got two more weight skips. So uh, when when swing away, is swing away. I think that got that one. Yeah, when they have uh, some new material, well, apparently we're going to be reviewing all of it, which is excellent. Excellent. <laughs> Fellas, we got time for one more jam from you. Uh, what would you prefer that we play? Uh, maybe Hypoxic or something. Yeah, let's do a Hypoxic Affair. It's an old news. I mean, it's, it's two years old. It's not that old. But, uh, if any of these have any YouTube video form of anything, we could play that instead for visual reasons. But if not, it's, it's all good. Oh. We, we do have a video for that. Cool. Um, if we can run. I just feel like it, it helps with uh, hypoxic. Sure, sure. It's a little more, you can do a little more uh, simulation. The drummer in the band uh, at this point is not me. I'll know. You know, <laughs> you'll know we look a little different. Yeah, this is older, <laughs> definitely. But it's a song we play a lot and people seem to like. So, um, yeah, it remembers. I got you. We're hanging out with Quietude. This is Hypoxic Affairs. Hey, so really quick, there's something weird going on behind you guys. If you look behind you, there's something crazy. Like, like literally look behind your shoulder real quick. It doesn't, it doesn't matter! matter what's it doesn't matter. matter what's behind you! Because believe it or not, we're actually going to play one more Quietude song. They're our guests today. I, it's been a while since I've done it. It doesn't matter. So we're gonna do God only knows. Good pass with what you're doing. I like the sound. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you much. guys. Really appreciate do do you play a lot of shows with Asylus, uh, or is that just some homies that you guys are every now and then jump on a bill with? We, yeah, I mean, we played. We definitely played a lot of shows. Um, that last video um, and these two playthroughs with the pink guitar that you've seen have been shot by um, Asylus's drummer Mel Torres. Shout out to Mel. Um, Mel's my Mel's my good buddy. I'm I'm pretty close to Mel, so yeah, yeah. He's so awesome. We, we're all we're all good buddies with with the guys in Asylus. We try to you know do content with them and and play shows with them as much as possible. Yeah, they're very, very fun. They're very very sick. I'm gonna put you I'm gonna put you on the spot just for a second. But can I book Quietude on a show that I want to put on in the near future, possibly in April? I know it's on the spot. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Absolutely. Yeah, we're in. We'll, we'll talk after stream. Hell yeah. Oh, they have actually, you guys have actual music video for this one. We do. Yeah, we do have a full on. Full Hell yeah. <laughs> you got to tell us, man. Ta well, tag, I see Tag in the chat. He's like, hey, he's like, dude, dude. Man, it's so good. One of my favorites. I think Death Wish could be my absolute favorite, but this is probably my second favorite. Are you favorite crying thing. over there, bro? Wipe your eyes a little I know. more, man. <laughs> I'm not afraid, yeah. dude. I'm, I'm not afraid either, man. Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> appreciate you boys this was a lot of fun thank you guys for joining us uh today and hanging out with us for a little while um i will we'll be chatting soon about trying to set something up i'd absolutely be honored to have you guys on on something that i'm trying to put on and uh, it'll be fun a lot of cool bands uh be on that particular gig but but ladies and gentlemen quietude can you believe it quietude yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> so good out of Southern yeah, California. Thank you guys. We wish you nothing but success. Come back when you keep dropping stuff, guys. Be a regular guest. We'll help you help us, you know. Exactly.
Let us know when the new single no, no, is no. ready. Uh, last thing, please, once again, plug uh, all your social media links, whatever you'd like right now uh, before you say your goodbyes. Okay, yeah. So we're most active on Instagram, Quietude Band. Uh, we're active on Spotify, obviously, uh, Apple Music. Uh, Bandcamp, quietude.bandcamp.com, I believe. We have a Facebook page. We still use Facebook. Uh, it's Quietude Band as well. Uh, we're not on TikTok. Um but maybe one day, maybe one day, maybe one day. I got sucked um, into it like two <laughs> weeks ago. I, ha I hate it. it I hate like, it. Yeah, it seems like just like a whole a whole other thing. I'm like scared to get into it. It's a vacuum. Um, but yeah, Instagram is probably the best bet at Quietude Band. Uh, you can find us on YouTube as well where you saw those videos. Um, so if you want to check us out, we would greatly appreciate it. And of course, thank you to Local Band Smokeout for letting us shout out on here and talking to us. We really appreciate it. Thank oh, you guys, no man. Problem, man. You, you guys are awesome, man. Quietude out of Los Thanks. Angeles, California. Ladies and gentlemen, cheers, boys. Enjoy the rest of your day. And uh, we'll chat soon. We'll chat soon.